What's up guys, in this video we'll see how a hacker could perform a man in the middle attack using ARP spoofing. We'll be using Scappy in Python to craft the ARP frames. If you don't know what Scappy is, I've made an introduction to Scappy video that you can check out link below. But before we get into the attack, let me briefly explain ARP spoofing for those that don't know. So usually on a network we'll have a router which connects all the clients to the internet and it keeps track of all the clients addresses like their IP address and their MAC address so that every packet from the internet goes only to the original client, right? So if one person's watching a YouTube video they're not going to get the traffic for some other traffic for a different client. Now what does the ARP spoofing have to do with this? Basically the ARP is going to track the equivalent IP address and the MAC address. Now what an attacker could do is send a spoofed ARP frame to the client saying hey I'm the router my MAC address has changed to this and the same thing to the router saying hey I'm client 168.1.5 and my MAC address has changed to this and they put themselves in the man in the middle position between two endpoints and suddenly you can sit there and see all the traffic going between these two endpoints. So let's take a look at how this attack is done. Alright, so I'm here in Kali Linux and this is the script we're going to use that I put together with the help of a few blogs. But before we get into the script, let's take a look at the attack in action. So the first thing we're going to do is fire up a terminal and then we do need root privileges so let's do sudo su and then we have to enable ipv4 forwarding so we do echo1 and this is the directory here ip forward and if we don't do this we can still arp the target and the gateway but then the traffic is not going to flow to the client so their browser and everything is going to be stuck and once we've done this let me go ahead and cd into the python directory and now we can run the ARP spoof script. But before we do that, let me actually open up Wireshark on the Ethernet interface and let's filter for ARP. You can see there's nothing there, but as soon as I run this, we're gonna start getting some ARP spoofing broadcasts in there. So the target, you do need to know the target and the gateway before running the attack, obviously and they both need to be on the same network obviously so this is my target address and the gateway address .50.1 let's run it and there we go you can see now we're sending the broadcast here telling hey who's got this address tell me and then they send back the MAC address and we've basically put ourselves in a man in the middle position between the two endpoints so now what I'm going to do is let's filter this by IP address. So let's do IP address and we'll put the target IP address here. And what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and ping Google. And there we go. You can see that we have the ping Google here. And we also have the redirect. See ping reply, ping reply. So basically all the traffic flowing from the target.121 and the router is going to show up over here. So let's say I were to open a file transfer with my blog. So let me go ahead and do that here. FTP open and I'll use my blog address. You can see DreamHost FTP server. And then I'll put the username and I'll put a random password here. And you can see here, password required for admin and all of that is plain text. And you can see password, not my password. And of course it says login incorrect because that's not the right information, but you get the idea. So now that we're in this man in the middle position, we can basically sniff all this traffic and later on you could look up the IP addresses and basically gather a bunch of information from the target, right? And that's how you determine the next step. So that's basically it for the attack. Extremely simple. 
and very effective in IPv4 and there are ways to do this in IPv6 as well which we'll be looking at in a later video but let me go ahead and stop the ARP spoofing but before I do that let me filter again for ARP let me go all the way down here and you'll see that once I stop this, we actually wrote in the script to restore the original ARP configuration as well. Otherwise, the target would be stuck with the wrong ARP cache and his internet wouldn't work properly. So let's stop that. And you can see we send the final broadcast here so that the target and the router could get back together in their ARP sync. And yeah, let me go ahead and stop the capture. Now we can take a look at the script here and yeah this is actually pretty interesting so before taking a look at the script it's important to understand how the ARP frame works so you can see we have the destination MAC address and then we have the source and then we have a few operation flags here one of the most important ones being the op and basically there's two modes to this one is the broadcast so we're basically asking the network hey guys who has this MAC address or who has this IP address and the second one is the reply so in the script we'll be using the second one since we're basically telling the target hey we are the ones with this address and then we have the sender IP target IP and the corresponding uh, Ethernet address now these are the two blogs that I actually used to put together this script and I basically just removed some unnecessary code I'll link them down below if you guys want some further reading into this and yeah finally let's take a look at the script so you can see we're using Scappy it's already included in Kali and we're using the time so the time is only for the interval basically if you want to send the ARP every 10 seconds you'd put the interval 10 here and then of course we need to get the target IP address and the gateway IP address so I put in a nice little prompt here all right so let's take a look at the spoof function basically what we'll be doing here is spoofing between the target and the gateway so we're gonna create the scappy ARP frame and like I said previously we're gonna use op mode 2 which is the response to the broadcast so basically we're just telling the target hey I'm at this MAC address which will be ours instead of the routers and then of course we have to put the target IP there and we're using Scappy's get MAC by IP function to get the MAC address for the target IP so that's what's uh, resolving the MAC address for us and then of course the gateway IP address and basically we just send the frame and then basically we have the restore function which will be doing the reverse process for spoofing so we're basically getting the original routers MAC address and reverting what we did by spoofing and this is so the clients internet will work properly again and now to the main script we will pretty much be running it forever until you press control C and you can see we get a spoof both ways so first we spoof the target and the gateway followed by spoofing the router and the target and then we just sleep for X amount of seconds which you can choose here on the interval variable and finally once we press Control C we'll go ahead and restore the original configuration so that is basically it it's a pretty cool script and it gives you a better understanding of the ARP spoofing now of course you could run ARP spoofing using the original from I believe is the dsniff suite of uh, script but doing it this way allows you to understand the code a lot better and understand what's actually going on with the frames and especially when you're looking into Wireshark and I want to take this a little further and do some more cool stuff with this and also take a deep dive into the same process with IPv6. So hope you guys enjoy this one. That's it for now.